Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I just started up, uh, this is a 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLK350 and I wanted to show you I've got a warning on my tire pressure. Um, so, I didn't even have to drive the car or initialize the tire pressure monitoring system or do anything. Uh, it's telling me right now that one of my tires is low. Uh, let's go into the system and see if I can do this on camera. And I'm just going to use this, the buttons here, to scroll. There we go. And then I'm going to scroll down. And see what I got. Okay. So here's how it works. Is I will get that warning on initial startup with the tires cold, the tire pressures are not uh, reading yet, but I'm still getting a warning. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm going to set the pressures now before I drive the car um, to what I want them to be, cold tire pressures, and I'm going to take a look at the tire, see if there's a nail in it or anything like that. Um, I did get warnings previous to today right now and it was the right side front and rear I think the rear might have been the lowest one but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that um, so I'm gonna set the pressures anyway right now and then I'll get back on camera with you so this is interesting the recommended tire pressures on the door sticker are 35 and 41 there's nothing about light load or heavy load or anything like that. Um, you can see this is not a lightweight vehicle. Gross weight, that means loaded weight, is up to 5,000 pounds. Let's look at the other recommended tire pressures which are at the uh, gas filler door. So, these are different. And you can see it's got like normal load. 33 front, 33 rear, maximum load, 35 front, 41 rear, which are more like what were on the door sticker. I am going to go, because this car doesn't really carry a lot of people usually, it doesn't carry a big load in it usually, um, so I think 33, 33, or maybe 3335 is what I'm going to go with. Okay, so I'm going to set them up for that, and then I'm going to go drive the car and see um, what happens with our with the warning. So 3335, we'll go with that. Okay, so I set them up to my preferred settings, 3335. Let's see what happens. Right, I still do have that tire pressure warning, which, um, you know, that's fine. Uh, and it says tire pressures will be displayed after driving a few minutes. So let's drive it, and then uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll pull over where it's safe, and I'll show you what we get. Well, that took like <laughs> a quarter of a mile, so um, I didn't even have to drive it very far. Uh, now you see the tire pressure monitoring sensors are not as accurate as my racing tire gauge. Oh, sorry, I had my finger in the way there. Um, but you know they're okay. They're still probably a good thing. Although I don't like government mandated things that increase the prices of cars. Anyway, the little yellow warning is gone and I'm getting some pressures and I'm going to drive it a little more and see as the pressures come up. 
So I would say my left front is reading two pounds high. My left rear is reading two pounds high. My right rear is reading one pound high, and my right front is right on the money. So, you know, it's mass produced tire pressure monitoring sensors, so don't worry about it. Now, this is interesting. The system is telling me to correct the tire pressure on the right front, and it's telling me that all the rest of them are okay. Well, I guess that sensor is wrong, but uh, we'll drive it a little bit more. So here's where we're at. The tire pressures did come up. The warning did come back. And uh, so each tire, the pressure came up like a couple pounds, uh, give or take. maybe three or four pounds actually but I'm still getting a problem with the right front I'm gonna check them again and I think they're all gonna be fine so I may have to get that right front sensor replaced okay so let me check them and then I'll give you one final uh, video so I checked sorry about that so I checked the uh, right front versus the left front and they are both exactly the same pressure so I've got a bad right front sensor let's start it up again yeah so the pressures are set at what I want them to be set at. They're all good, there's no nails in any tires, and uh, got a bad right front sensor. So I'll have them fix that when I get some other service done. Uh, as long as you know and understand what the problem is, you don't really have to drop everything and rush to the dealer to get it fixed, in my opinion. Yeah, if it bothers the heck out of you, then yeah, go ahead and get it fixed. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. To you guys and gals, give me a thumbs up or a like if you uh, enjoyed it or it helped you out. And subscribe to Froggy's Garage if you want uh, more from Froggy. See you later. Froggy out. Bye-bye.